Hi, it's Corrine, and today I have a beautiful album to share with you. This is a custom ordered album, and I used a, two beautiful paper packs from Knitwit Collections, the Happy Collection and Hydrangeas Collection, so I'll be sure to link those in the description box, along with lots of gorgeous, gorgeous products from Wild Orchid Crafts. So check the description box for more information on how to get to Wild Orchid Crafts and Knitwit Collections, and a list of supplies that I have used. And this album is an eight by eight gatefold album. I believe that I have a video showing how I made a gatefold album. So if I do, I will put that in the description box below. So this is a chunky album and it has seven pages in it. Gorgeous collection. She had requested that, well, she loved the knitwit, um, paper collections that I used in another video. So she requested that and she wanted lots of flowers and bows, that she loves flowers and bows. So on the front here, it has the two different panels. I added the paper here to the top right and the bottom left. This is from the Hydrangea collection. On the front here, I have this beautiful ornate round frame that I cut from my silhouette. I did probably 10 layers of it because I wanted it thick like chipboard and it is. I added some gorgeous chrysanthemums. I have some off-white chrysanthemums here and here, a pink one, and then I added a couple of the white and pink center wild roses. I added a few hip rosebuds there as well. And I did add some white satin ribbon around the front just for decoration. So that's not it here down, it's just sitting on there. And this to the side again this is really thick like chipboard so I'm really happy with that I added some velcro to keep it closed I did it first add magnets but it was not holding it closed so the velcro really holds it on there well I'm really happy with how that adheres down so the album opens up like this on the side here, I have this beautiful quote, the best things in life are the people we love, the places we've been and the memories we've made along the way. I thought it was very appropriate for an album to add photos to. And this paper here, this is one of the many reasons I love using digital. This is a damask paper in the background and Knitwit Collections has elements of these flowers that, that you can add. So I added a cluster to the left side and the right and I toned down the transparency so they were not very bright, more in the background. So that's my side here. On the front page, I have this gorgeous scallop oval frame, a bow with an open rose. Again, paper from the Hydrangea collection. And this frame is open on the top and I do have a template for her to trace to add a photo to the back. But I also put a beautiful saying that I had in my collection, be your own kind of beautiful. Every single page has a side large bracket style edged pullout mat. So journaling or photos. If, if she's going to journal, she can use a white pen or a gel pen. They show up beautifully on black, silver as well. On this side here, I have a diagonal pocket. I used this beautiful, small, white organza trimming from Wild Orchid Crafts, added a bow from the same paper collection, and a beautiful silver diamond rhinestone to the center to the pocket. Look at this paper in the background, absolutely stunning. This is from the Hydrangea collection, I believe, or the Happy collection. Again, the two collections I used throughout both the album, they go they go together very, very well. And I love the pop of black in it. So I did my album base in black, as you can see. To the pocket, I added a couple journaling cards. You make me happy. This is from the collection from Knitwit. And this is a beautiful um, journaling card. I'll try and add in the description box where I got it from. I got it off of Etsy a long time ago. You'll see a few of them throughout. Being that she says she loves flowers, I wanted to add these throughout the album. I thought they went beautifully. Again, as you can see, I backed it on black so she can add photos or journaling to the back, add photos to the pocket. On this side, I use this beautiful scroll frame 
she requested that specifically and it has a little corner here so she can tuck her photo right into it. This will hold nicely a four by four or four and a half by four and a half photo. I added some of the white chrysanthemums from Wild Orchid Crafts. They're beautiful rose leaves, a beautiful sparkle embellishment, some hip rosebuds, and I love these pearl loops that they have. Tuck those in there. And then this is from the Knitway Collections Elements. It says, make someone happy, then you'll be happy too. And it's a little booklet. So that just tucks right in here. On this side, again, I use this beautiful ornate frame um, from Silhouette. I cut it out from my Silhouette, added some more of the white chrysanthemums. I added some open roses in pink and ivory, some of the flat back self-adhesive pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts. I added a little teardrop diamond pearl here some of the white leaves, and again, some more of those open roses. I also added a little heart embellishment to the center, and this is left open as well. She will have to untuck it from the flowers, add her photo, and then kind of tuck it back behind the flowers, and then she can glue it down or just leave it. It'll hold nicely. I have a little leaf tucked in there. And to the front, again, another sentiment that I had in my stash. It says, live every moment, moment, laugh every day, love beyond words. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's really windy out. So I'm filming right next to my window. So if you can hear that, that's the wind. On this side, I did a side belly band, added one of these beautiful mixed resin frames from Wild Orchid Crafts and some pearls. I added some of the beautiful design paper to the center. Again, another one of those heart resin pieces, some um, chrysanthemums, and the, she can tuck photos in the side here. I also added some large journaling cards and some smaller ones, a bow with a flower embellishment again from Wild Orchid Crafts. Beautiful papers. Here's another one of those beautiful journaling cards and then this is gorgeous. This is from the Element Collection. It says Joy. So these just tuck in under here. On the side here again I added another one of those beautiful images from um, the Etsy store. This gorgeous frame and here's some seam binding holding it together. This opens up to be an accordion style album so she can add lots more photos on both the front and back here. And on this side I used a journaling card that comes with the Knitwit collections and backed it as you can see on the black. I added an antique um, metal piece from Wild Orchid Crafts and a little cabochon resin flower here. Two of the journaling cards, gorgeous papers. I love this paper collection, both of these. And like I said, they go so well together. Added another bow with an, a little resin flower. On this side, I designed a bracket style side pocket, added a bow with another little sparkle gem to the center. She can add um, pictures to this pocket as well. Here's all my templates for the frames like this. So she just places this on top of her photo, traces around it, cuts around it, and then can tuck her photo directly in. And they're not really pretty to look at, so I just tuck them in a pocket, but there are, I believe, three or four tucked in here. Large journaling mat, and then another one of these beautiful images. This here is the little open booklet. Great for more photos. On this side, I added this beautiful oval frame, added a sentiment I had in my stash that says start each day with a grateful heart. Some gardenia flowers in both off-white, pink, and then pink and white. I added this beautiful little pearl in a diamond center, again from Wild Orchid Crafts, and some hip rosebuds and some flat back pearls, and this is left open to tuck the photo in. On this side here, I used a Martha Stewart punch. It's the lacy scalloped edge. 
and added some of that beautiful flower trimming from Wild Orchid Crafts. This is some of my favorite to use. I added two bows to the center and another one of the heart resin pieces. Gorgeous papers. Here I used a EK Success Punch. I've been asked before when I've showed this in the video, this corner punch. It's It's been discontinued a long time ago. If I can find one like on eBay, I'll add, the, add it in the description, but it just tucks in the side there. Large photo mat. Another beautiful sentiment and imagery from Knitwit Collections. It's a smile and be happy. This is one that I printed out myself, adding the elements to the paper from Knitwit Collections. And then another one from that beautiful, I think it's called Nostalgic graphic kind something like that like I said I'll add that in the description box so those just tuck in here on the side here I added a waterfall bracket and added the gorgeous papers to it this here is a digital stamp that comes with the elements in the knitwit collection so it says smile and be happy and this is all scored so she can fold these up add journaling or photos to each of them behind and she can get a lot of photos on this. Added some white satin ribbon to tie it together. Love, love, love this paper collection, both of them. On this side here, I used one of the elements, backed it on some black cardstock, a couple pieces of it to make it, again, like chipboard, to make it thick as a stopper here. So photos can be tucked behind it. Added this large journaling card. I added this digital stamp that comes with it in the Knitwit collection. And if you get the bundled collection from Knitwit, it'll save you 20% as opposed to buying each collection separate. So this comes in one of the, um, in the bundled pack or one of the separate packs. This here, it says, be jolly, be joyful, be merry, be sunny, be cheery, be happy. This is from the Happy Collection, of course. Added a bow with a pink open rose here. On this side, I added a belly band and Again, added one of these beautiful clusters that Mary Fran puts together for you. I just added that to the paper before printing it out. Added this sentiment that I had in my stash. It says, love, laugh, inspire. Another large journaling card, another smaller journaling card. And again, flowers, excuse me, pictures can be tucked into the pocket. I added another bow with a cabochon flower from Wild Orchid Crafts. On this side, this is just a photo mat. I did pop it up on chipboard so it stands out. I added some of the flat back pearl, a bow, and another one of those cabochon flowers. Beautiful paper. And then this is the last pocket. I made it, or the last page, I made it into a pocket. Added that beautiful flower trim. And then again, designed this paper. This paper was in the collection and I added these two flower clusters that are already come together printed it out with a sentiment I had in my stash it says live every moment moment laugh every day love beyond words to the pocket beautiful beautiful papers I added a few larger journaling cards or photo mats Two tags, again with beautiful images of hydrangeas, some seam binding, a bow, and another little resin flower there. And then on this side pocket here, or the spine, I made another little waterfall for her to add more journaling and or photos to it and some seam binding. And on the side here, I put love each moment. So I hope you've enjoyed a peek into this album. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and check out both Knitwit Collections and Wild Orchid Crafts. They have such amazing products. I'll be sure to link to them down in the description box below, as well as over on my blog. Thanks so much for stopping by.